If you've been on the internet, YouTube, or at your local gun range, you know exactly how popular compensators have become. Now they're all the rage. All right, so it went from the competition world, doing the R&D for this stuff, and then adopted by the defensive world. If you have ever shot with one of these on your firearm, you know it does reduce muzzle flip and it has a perceived benefit. But does it have a downside? I think in certain areas it just might. Um, it is wonderful to go out there and, and shoot on the flat range and do all that stuff. Yes, they're cool, they're fun, they, look, they make your gun look neat, uh, but there is some downsides. And what we're going to do today is kind of go over some of the detriment that it might bring up in this. On this Zev OZ9, it's the 17 length slide, has a Parker Mountain Machine single port comp. Another Parker Mountain Machine single port comp for this compact PDP. Another OZ9, now it has the Zev compensator on here. Now this has one, two, three ports on it. Lastly, we have the G19 with a KKM barrel and KKM compensator. This is a two chamber comp, which will be more effective with four ports on it. And we'll see how that does. So just flat out shooting with a comp on your gun, as long as it's reliable, you'll tell a difference, especially if your grip sucks. If your grip sucks, you'll have a lot more um, perceived recoil reduction and flip reduction. If your grip is strong and dialed in, you'll only get like a meager amount of compensation on the firearm. So I'll go out here, we'll do a couple of experiments and we'll see the downside of having a compensator on your defensive pistol. What we're gonna do is demonstrate shooting from retention. I've got a white piece of paper here. We'll see how much fouling, copper jacket, and other debris this thing shoots up into our face when we shoot at a maybe compromised angle for the port. What I have here is just some Hornaday tap. It's a 124 grain plus P, and we'll see what that looks like on this paper. So that has a lot more thrusting power being that it is two chambered with four ports. On the other guns, I kind of had a compromised uh, straight up and down. I didn't cant it, but this blast, this, this, this thing right here is, this thing is doing what it's supposed to be doing. I felt, I felt all that on my arm over here just from having it, all that blast go up into here. So it, it definitely shot more stuff out on the paper. Kind of blew a couple pasters off, but yeah, that's a lot more particulate down there. So the danger with the compensators is if you have a baffle strike or some, something like that, now you got jacket flying up at you. Uh, so this, so even if I did cant this as I should, I'm still getting a lot of that port right there. So that's what we have to decide as the shooter uh, for the instances that we're in those positions of shooting from retention, is the juice worth the squeeze? Uh, if you're out here extended all day long, you're gonna get some benefit of the just like that guy, you're gonna get the benefit of the compensator on your firearm. But to be kind of blinded or shocked when you're in close proximity, either in a car or, or, or under a car, risk worth the reward. 
for me i think they're they're cool they're fun but as a carry gun where you, where you might be put in those situations where you have to be up close and personal with the assailant and you don't want that stuff flying up in your face. I would prefer to focus on strengthening my grip and making sure that is doing, I mean, it's nine millimeter. You're not shooting nine major. You're not shooting 38 super. So for me, I prefer tightening up the grip as opposed to putting these fun little toys on here, but that's just me. You do what's right for you. I don't wanna risk that stuff going in my face in a defensive situation. Does that make sense? I hope so. But you decide what you want to do. So I'm going to shoot. I'll shoot a fast string of fire, shoot slow fire. We'll see the difference between a compensated gun and a non-compensated gun with a, with a strong grip. Six shot slow fire. So my goal here is not to talk you out of putting a fun little toy at the end of your gun. It is more about talking you into working on your grip strength, trigger control. There you will find the benefit that you're probably seeking. Please stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. God bless.